Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of the class on St. Patrick's Day. So this is going to be a continuation from the last hour uh, where we were talking about St. Patrick's Day. We learned a little bit about the history, what St. Patrick's Day is, how, um, how people celebrate it, and what it really means. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, for all those who don't know, it is a, it's an Irish holiday. That is, uh, and it's the biggest holiday celebrated in Ireland, and it is celebrated on March 17th. So right now, we it is um, March 15th where I am, which is in San Francisco, and this weekend, so tomorrow is Saturday. This weekend is St. Patrick's Day weekend. So we like in North America, they celebrate the entire weekend if it falls on a weekend. Okay. Um, so I have uh, attached the document with the class description. Hamid is going to be posting it. There we go. Hamid posted it in the verbling chat. Um, that is a document we are working through. We've already worked through the first three pages. Um, and it was basically just reading and comprehension. We're now going to be doing vocabulary review, fill in the blanks, and we're going to be learning some green idioms. Okay? So we're going to learn some expressions and some idioms, uh, not necessarily related to St. Patrick's Day, but idioms that, you know, uh, you can relate them to that uh, holiday as well. So for all those who were not in the earlier class, you guys are more than welcome to open the document and read the first two pages. So we read um, the history of St. Patrick's Day and we answered the comprehension questions. And now we are going to be on, which page is it? We are now going to be on page four, which says vocabulary review. Okay, so we're going to be starting off from there. So I can see a couple of familiar faces. Victor, is your microphone working now? Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to mute you. It's just that every time you unmuted yourself, there was only static that we heard. We didn't hear anything else. Okay. Um, and we have oh, we have a lot of the same people from our previous class. So all those who are watching, welcome as well. We just have a couple of new faces. We have Sergio. We have, this is the same Renee who was in the last class, right, Renee? Hello. Uh, yes, okay, because you, uh, you turn your camera off. Uh, yeah. You know where the microphone button is? There's also a camera button right there, so you could try pressing that. That might uh, turn your camera on. Sorry, Yuri, you were saying something? Andrew, with us. Hmm? Sorry. You're with us, yeah. You're with us too, yeah. yeah. So we have, we only have a couple of new people. We have Sergio and we have Andre. So welcome, guys. Hi. Everybody, everybody else was in the in the previous class. Hi. Hi, Andre. How are you doing? I'm fine. In you, what's up? Awesome. Uh, do you are you aware of Saint Patrick's Day? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever cele Have you ever celebrated Saint Patrick's Day? Yes, uh, today we exchange gifts because of the Easter. Oh, right, it's Easter, that's right, that's true. Yes. So you did my, two in one. Yeah, my, uh, yes, uh, my co workers and I bought uh, chocolates and uh, uh, like a secret friend, you know? Oh, Secret Santa, Secret Santa. That's yes. what we say. So when you, get, uh, when you get presents for somebody else and they don't know who's buying presents for you, that's a game called Secret Santa. Yes, Perfect, but, so you play Santa, yeah? But uh, just the chocolates. Just chocolates, okay. That's cool, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and we also have Sergio. Hi, Sergio. Hi. How are you, you doing today? Yeah, we can hear ah. you. Ah, yes, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, Do you, are you aware of St. Patrick's Day? Uh, no, I, I didn't know that it was uh, St. Patrick's Day today. It's actually St. Patrick's Day on March 17th. So um, in North America, it's Friday right now. And uh, the, the weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, is called St. Patrick Weekend. Okay? So, we, so it's ah. celebrated for two days over here. Okay? Um, so okay. I'll, I'll just give you a little quick summary. St. Patrick's Day is a holiday celebrated in Ireland. And it is to celebrate St. Patrick, 
who in the fourth century brought Christianity to Ireland from France. Okay. So if you wanna if you wanna read a little bit more about it yourself, there is um, the link that we are working through. Hamid has posted it in the Verbling chat. If you wanna download it, that is the link that we are reading and working through. The first two pages we've already done because the last class was on the same topic. Okay. Now we're going to be on page four doing vocabulary review. Okay. Yes. Yes. Everybody okay? Okay. Okay. Yes, awesome. yes. So, uh, Andre and Sergio, did you guys open the document? Do you have it? Yes. Yes? Yes, I have it. Okay, perfect. So, let's scroll down to page four, and I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to be doing vocabulary review. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'm just going to ask everybody to keep themselves muted, okay? So, when you're not talking, just mute your microphones, and then when you want to say something, you're more than welcome to unmute it. Okay. Vocabulary review. Match the words on the left with the meanings on the right. So we covered some of these words in class. Uh, let's cover them. Uh, let's, let's make sure we all got what they mean. So descent. Let's do the first one together. What is descent? Origin, origin coming from. Yeah, exactly. So your origin, you are the descendants of someone and from some place. So they're your origin. That's where you come from. Okay? So we covered a couple of examples. In, in the last class about that. Okay, perfect. Now let's go through everybody and get them to do uh, one of them. So let's start with Yuri. Can I get you to do number two? Yes, of course. Shamrock. Mm -hmm. It is a plant which usually has three leaves on each stem. Perfect. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Yuri. Oh, uh, I have presents. I have presents. Sorry, small present for St. Patrick Day, really. I saw your cake earlier. I saw your cake that you had. Oh, that's Irish Celtic music. Okay, this that's music. All? Sorry. Okay. Yes, it's music. I'm not sure that you hear. Celt but... Celtic music. Yeah, we heard Maybe. it. Yeah. Maybe so, it's not. It's not original Celtic, but it's similar. Yeah, and do you know what the main instrument is that they use to play Celtic music? I know, but I don't know English. Sorry, I, I think that's, it's not only that's, whiskey. That's what it is. Can you read that? I wrote it in verbling chat. Uh, bagpipes. Bagpipes, exactly. So Irish and Scottish, mu Scottish music is very similar. It's called Celtic music. So music from that part of the world is called Celtic music. And the main one of the major instruments they use are bagpipes. Okay. It's, re it's very beautiful. Sorry, Norbert, but it's maybe more beautiful than piano. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. I know. Snap, snap, Norbert. It's, what's your What's your rebuttal? What are you gonna say? Uh, are you gonna stand up for that, Norbert? <laughs> it's a competition here. <laughs> Which instrument is the best? There you go. These are bagpipes, guys. Okay. So this is, and it's we already amazing, guys. <laughs> so they're bagpipes. They're five pipes connected to a bag, and they these men are wearing kilts. K I L T S kilts. These are not skirts. There is a name for this this kind of clothing, and it's a kilt. Okay. So yeah, Celtic music is very Irish and very Scottish. All right. Thanks for that. There is an um, there's a music class that I have next week where you can come out to class and talk about what your favorite musical instrument is. I know Norbert will be there talking about the piano. So if Yuri wants to come and talk about the bagpipes, I don't know. It might get a little slippery. Okay, let's go. Um, Victor, can I get you to do number three, please? Number three is kidnap. Yeah. Kidnap yeah. is. Uh, I think it's a person who takes. Yeah. Burn. So yeah. Yeah. So which one? Which one of these from the right hand side is the right answer? Which letter? Letter. Letter J. Yeah, can you read it? What is it? To steal a person. Perfect, yeah. So kidnapping is to steal a person. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Victor. Uh, next we have Sergio. Can I get you to do number four, please? 
Uh, yes, uh, number four, slave. Uh, a person who is forced to work for someone and can be bought and sold. Perfect, yeah, a person who is forced to work for someone and can be bought and sold. Exactly, that's what a slave is. Thanks for that, Sergio. Uh, next we have Renee. Yeah, Renee, can I get you to do number five, please? Yes, right. Shepherd. Um, a religious man who works for the church. Ooh, do you guys, I, I explained what a shepherd was. Is that a religious Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. So I, I confess it as a, um, as a priest. Okay. Um, a person who takes care of the sheep. Perfect, yeah. So a shepherd is a person who takes care of sheep, okay? A religious man is, is something else, all right? Thanks, yeah, yeah. thanks, Renee. Uh, yeah. Next, we'll get Norbert. Can you, can you do number Bible. six, please? Yeah. Bible, a book of si sacred uh, writing of the church. Sacred writings of the church, yes. Perfect. Thanks, Norbert. Uh, Lalo, can I get you to do number seven? Okay. Um, seven praise is um, um, a religious man who works for the church. Yeah, a priest. Is, yeah, perfect. A religious man who works for the church is a priest. Perfect. Thanks, Lalo. Hamid, uh, number eight, please. Again, chemistry term. <laughs> Con uh, convert means a change. Exactly. So to convert is to change. Perfect. Thank you, Chemical Hamid. Chemical or physical conversion. Yeah, perfect. Emad. Can I get you to do number nine? Okay. Admire. Uh, it's, it's the like and it's and respect. Sorry, I, I didn't get that. Sorry. Admire is? Admire is the like yeah. and respect. Perfect. Yeah. So when you admire someone, you like them, you respect them, and you look up to them. Okay? So you look to them for help or advice or opinions. Okay? Perfect. Thank you, Imad. Um, Andre, number 10, please. Hi. Uh, miracle? Uh, like and respect? Uh, no, it's, no, it's not respect. Okay. Who would like to help Andre out? What's a miracle? Un Jane? Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable event. Ah, yes, yes, sorry. God. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So a miracle is an unbelievable event. A lot of people mm -hmm. attribute miracles to God. They're like, oh, ah, yes. on yeah, only God could have made this happen. It's a miracle. Okay? Yes, definitely. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Andre. Next, let's go back to Yuri. Can I get you to do number 11? Yes, of course. Uh, pirate. It is Johnny Depp. Very ah, funny. so what is Johnny Depp? Ah, where is Johnny? Oh, a person who is f no, 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 sorry. Um, a thief or robber who lives on the sea. Perfect. No. Yeah, yeah, that is what yeah. it is. Yeah, exactly. We already spoke about this. Pirates, they have no country. They don't have a specific country that they live in. They just roam the seas, okay? Roam the seas is when you just go from place to place in the sea, all right? What, so like, what is a thief? thief? Oh, okay, what, what's a thief? What's a thief, guys? A thief is someone who steals, okay? So, for example, if you, if you eat cookies from the cookie jar and you don't tell your mom and she told you not to eat cookies, then she'll say, you are a thief, you stole from the cookie jar. Okay. okay, thank right. you. So if Orhina, uh, if I uh, enter Yuri's house and I can stole, steal his computer, it is also a thief. That is a robber. Okay, oh, yes. a robber is someone who enters without invitation and steals. Okay, so for example, a bank robber. Okay, bank robbers. They go to the bank and they steal money from the bank, okay? Thief, so they're thieves as well. Robber is like a specific kind of thief, right? Thief is just somebody who steals. Robber is somebody who forcefully goes into someone's house or someone's establishment and steals from them. Can be sharper. What, what do you mean by sharper, Andre? 
uh, I, I saw in the dictionary, and the, this is a synonym to thief. I've, I've never heard of sharper. It might be a British synonym. I'm not too sure. I've never heard of it. Okay. Yes. Mostly. Uh, for... Yeah. A robber is a with gun. A thief without gun. Yes? Yeah, uh, yeah, robbers tend to be more dangerous. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Robbers, they hold you at gunpoint. So hold yeah, at bigger. Mm -hmm. bigger than so, thief. Right? Yeah. Steal a something. robber, yeah. You can be a, a small time thief. What's a small time thief? What do you think small time thieves steal? Small time thief. When you steal something from the shop, maybe? Yeah, so shoplifting, right? So you go into a shop and you see a really nice bracelet and you put it in your bag and you leave, all right? Or you go to someone's house and you see something that they like and you take it, all right? That's a small time thief. A big time thief it would be like a robber or somebody who like robs a bank. Like you steal millions of dollars, all right? That's that's like a large scale uh, a robbery, okay? Robbers. Uh, they are associated with being more dangerous. They are armed. Okay. When you have guns, when you have the intent to fire a gun on someone, uh, and you hold them at gunpoint, then you are armed. Okay. Holding at gunpoint. Okay. Try try to like. I'm in a bank and I work at the bank. All right. And the robber is holding me at gunpoint. He's like, if you don't open the safe, I'm going to kill you. All right? That is to hold someone at gunpoint. The intent of killing them if they don't do what you say. Okay? So robber, thief, armed, these are all words related to robberies. Robberies. The robberies when they're stolen. And Hina, right? uh, small uh, pickpocketing is, a, we can say, example of a small time thief. It's pickpocketing. Yes, pickpocketing. What is pickpocketing? Okay. Uh, so a guy if, that yeah. take your wallet in your pocket. Or no? Yeah, exactly. So he, yeah, so he picks your wallet. Okay. It, it, he picks uh, your wallet. So. Run away. Yeah, he runs away with your wallet. So you're having a good time. You're walking with your girlfriend in a really, really busy mall. And your girlfriend's like, oh, my God, I want to buy these shoes. You're like, babe, I'm going to pay for these shoes. Okay? And then you go to your pocket to get your wallet. Is your wallet there? It, it usually happens here. Your girlfriend's going to be really angry. It usually happens here in the... Yeah. When you, so go, you, to the, you go to, to the shop, right? To, to the metro market the, the to, to the market they, they take your yeah metro uh, subway I have the subway yes metro subway they they mm -hmm. you know, they yeah. usually the, the thief usually takes your money from the from your pocket when you're when you're trying to yeah. to get in the metro yeah exactly so these are pickpocketers okay mm -hmm. pickpocketers are people who are very good at stealing your wallet from your shirt pants or it's on you and they've, st they've stolen it from you and you don't know okay mm -hmm. um, so it pickpocketing is, is a point. small time sorry what, Yuri? it is a good point so don't spend a lot of time with a girlfriend <laughs> in a mall really every time I go with you I get pickpocketed what is up with that Right? So yeah, that's a good point. Don't go shopping with your girlfriend anymore. Okay? Oliver has to be a pickpocket. Okay? So picking is a time small thief. It's not a huge crime. I mean it's still a crime, you're still breaking the law, but it's not as big as stealing like killing someone when you go into their house and stealing their jewelry or like robbing a bank. It's not as it's not like on a grand scale like that. It's a small time offense. Okay. Uh, and last number 12. So, Victor, can I get you to do number 12? Victor, can you hear me? Yeah. Number okay, one? Number 12, please. Number 12, the last one. All right. The last one is uh, the letter C. Yeah. A festival march with music and costumes. And this word is pronounced as parade. Parade. Okay. What is that? Okay. Who can tell me what a parade is? 
Slide festival. Music <laughs> festival. Uh, it doesn't have to be musical. There usually is music around, but a parade is usually when you celebrate something. For example, a parade down the, your street. The Independence Day. When, yeah, Lalo, go ahead. It's for example when army go out to the streets and they are working with their arms. Yeah, that's a really good idea. When when the military or the police people in the army, when they are walking with their guns and they are in perfect synchrony, that is a parade. They are showing their citizens that we are here to protect you. Okay? Yes. Pa yeah, parades can be a little... Yeah. All, so, all for example, the parades are, are, very, um, are very familiar, are, are very usual, are very common during carnival. Exactly. So see, this is a parade, so people are walking... They have lots of decorations, they're marching, other people are watching, uh, and there's usually music playing. It's a celebration, okay? A celebration that takes place out on the streets of a city, and it is organized by an organization. It's called a parade, okay? This is the Macy's, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. This happens in New York City. Here so Macy's is a very popular store in the United States, um, and yes, 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 Andre. Yeah, uh, the Independence Day. Okay, in somebody the, said my name. I don't know who uh, said it. Okay. The Independence Day in the United States is a parade. Independence Day. Independence Day. Mm. Yeah. Independence yes. Day. Yeah. Independence so every. Day. Yeah, every country has an Independence Day, right? The day that your country gained freedom. All right. So usually, uh, Independence Day, uh, you have parades in the major cities of your country. So July fourth is Independence Day for the U.S. July first is Independence Day for Canada. Okay. These are Independence Days, uh, and Independent Days that days of Independence that countries celebrate to celebrate when they gain freedom. Okay. And they usually are very very big parades, like in Toronto in Canada, like. All of downtown is shut down. All of downtown, you cannot drive there for all of July 1st because there is a parade that goes throughout the city. Okay? Do you understand, Sergio? And they, you move to the United States and celebrate their independence. Exactly. Day, yeah? You're like, July 1st, I am in Toronto, and July 3rd, I am in Buffalo. And it's like, whoop, whoop, another Independence Day. <laughs> July 5th is Venezuela's Independence Day. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. So, any other questions about that review? Because in the next section, part B, you are going to have to finish the sentences with the words that we have just learned. Okay? So, uh, if all the words are clear, then we can start uh, completing them. Okay? So, Sergio, can I get you to do... Actually, you know what? Let's do the first one together, and then each one you guys can do independently. So... Pierre is of French blank. His grandparents moved to Canada from France 40 years ago. Descent. So, descent. 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 Yeah, descent. can you say that for me? Descent. Yeah. Descent. Descent. Yeah. descent. Okay. Yeah. So Pierre is of French descent. So this is descent. Okay. Okay, what you guys keep saying is decent. Okay. Decent it doesn't have an S in it. Descent has an decent. S in it. Okay. Yeah, decent, decent and descent are two different words. So decent, okay. it means when uh, it means when you are very typical and normal. So you're decent. Descent yeah. is your origin. Fine, yeah, decent is when you are like properly dressed and all that stuff. Okay, you look good. Right. So decent and descent are two separate words. Okay. So yeah, Pierre is of French descent. His parents moved to Canada from France 40 years ago. Awesome. Sergio, can I get you to do number two, please? Yes. And so the, uh, I'm just going to say that the okay. words you have to pick from are over here. So you have to pick one of these words to fill in the blanks. Yes, I get it. Yeah. Uh, in, in many cartoon movies, a pirate wears a black patch over one eye and a scarf on his head. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks for that, Sergio. So everybody knows what a patch is, right? That piece of cloth that the pirate wears like this covers his eye, right? So he has a scarf. He has an eye patch. That piece of cloth is called an eye patch. 
Pirates have one more thing and it talks. What is it? They what? Put it on what? Their uh, shoulder. Uh, 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 Pirates have one more uh, thing and it's uh, parrot. Parrot. Yeah. Exactly. Parrot. So a lot of pirates have parrots on their shoulder and they talk. Okay? So that's how you exactly eye patch and like a hook. So sometimes they have a hook, they don't have a hand, they have like a they have a metal hook that comes out. Alright? Captain Hook from Peter Pan. Captain Hook from Peter Pan. He doesn't have a hand, he has a hook. Alright? So pirates are and pirates. Yeah, he's a pirate. Uh, no eye, they have a wooden leg. Wooden leg. So there's all different kinds of pirates, alright? Alright, perfect. Thanks, Sergio. Next is Renee. Can I get you to do number three, please? Right. Uh, when his mother recovered from cancer, he thought it was a miracle. Perfect. He thought it was a miracle. Awesome. Thanks, Renee. Norberg, number four, please. The shamrock is the national symbol of Ireland. Yeah, perfect. The shamrock. So we saw a picture of a shamrock. Shamrock is basically a very small leaf. It has th is basically a very small plant. It has three leaves on it, and it's a symbol of Ireland. Awesome. Thanks, Norbert. Uh, Lalo, number five, please. <coughs> number five. There, are many, there, are <coughs> there were many clowns, dancers, and marching bands in the parade. 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 Yeah. So you guys would say it like this. Parade. Okay. Parade. Okay. Parade. Yeah, parade, exactly. People are saying it parade. It's not that, it's parade. Okay? Parade. Yeah. So in a parade, you have clowns and dancers and marching bands. Perfect. Thanks, Lalo. Uh, Hamid, you, number six, please. Okay, uh, the priest will perform the marriage ceremony in the church. The priest, right? Is that what you said? Yes, the yes. priest. Yeah, perfect. So the priest, yeah, in uh, Christianity, uh, people like to get married by a priest. So a priest is a holy person of the church and he performs the ceremony. Ceremony is the event. Okay? Ceremony is the event. The marriage ceremony. Okay? And Perfect. And in a uh, new pop, uh, determined. 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 Uh, and congratulations for the Christian at the world. Yeah. So does everybody know that there has been a new pope appointed? New yes, world. from uh, Argentina. Ar yeah. Argentina. Near, yeah. near Brazil. Near Brazil, yeah. He is the first South American Pope ever. Yes. Okay? So the first South American Pope has been appointed in the Vatican City, and he was appointed yesterday. So it's a very big deal for uh, South Americans. Okay? All right, perfect. Thanks, Hamid. Uh, Imad, can I get you to do number seven, please? Yeah. Uh, before the American Civil War, uh, war it was legal to own bank uh, in the U.S. After the war, uh, those those people were freed. I think it's slave. slave. Exactly, exactly. So American Civil War. Civil War was the war that happened within America in the 1800s, and after which slavery was abolished. Slavery was abolished. So slavery finished after that. Okay, so before that, people could own. So a slave belonged to someone. It's like, oh, this is my slave. I own him or her. Okay, after the war, those people were freed. So African American people, they came to America as slaves, and after the Civil War, they were freed. They were no longer slaves. Liberated. Liberated, exactly. They were liberated. Okay, they were liberated. They were told to live their life like American citizens and not like slaves. Perfect. Thanks, Ahmad. Uh, next, Andre, can I get you to do number eight? Yes. Um, what is? You can convert your American dollars to Canadian dollars at the airport. Perfect. You can convert, change. You can change your American dollars to Canadian dollars at the airport. Awesome. Thanks, Andre. Uh, Rafa is asking, when do you teach English for beginners? Uh, Rafa, my schedule for next week is, is on Burbling, so you can look at it and decide which classes you'd like to join. I, I have a couple of beginner classes. Okay, Rafa? Perfect. 
Uh, Yuri, number nine, please. Yes. After they, I kidnap. No, no, no. Number nine. Okay, no, okay. Do number ten. Do number. 10. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's number okay. Nine. That's okay. Yeah. No, 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 do number uh, 10. No, no, do number 10. Do it, do it. You already gave the answer away. Do number 10. <laughs> Nobody here, man. No, do it, number 10. <laughs> After they kidnap the child. Child. Yeah. Sorry, child. Uh, they ask for a million dollars for his safe return. Perfect. After they kidnap the child, they ask for a million dollars for his safe return. What is the Sorry, million guys. dollars? That's okay, don't worry about it. What is the million dollars? Million dollars, it's not a... Uh... Ransom. Yes, perfect. The million dollars is ransom. That is the money that you need to pay to get your child back. Okay? We covered this in, in the last... Yeah, so ransom. So the million dollars for his safe return, I am holding your child ransom for a million dollars. If you want your child back, you're going to have to give me a million dollars. Okay? Um, Victor, can I get you to do number nine, please? Number nine. He is a very religious. Okay, number nine. He's a very religious person. He reads the Bible every day. Perfect, yeah. The Bible is the holy book uh, for Christians. In Christianity, the Bible is the holy book. Okay? Perfect. So somebody has their Facebook on and their microphone turned on, and you can hear the messages that you're getting. Okay? Renee, I just muted you. You can unmute yourself when you want to talk. Okay? Perfect. Okay. So any questions about any of the words we've covered? Even if there were some words over here that you guys don't know of, I can definitely cover them. Okay? All right. Perfect. Okay. St. Patrick's Day. Sharing information. So these are legends. Read the Irish legend below and share the information with your partner. We're not going to be sharing any information. We're just going to be reading the legends that exist about St. Patrick's Day. Okay? And this is the Blarney Stone. Is this what you were talking about, Imad? Yeah, I discovered that lately. Yeah. Right. I make a, yeah, I Google it and found it the same stone that I was uh, thinking about. Yeah. Okay, all right. So um, yeah, Imad was asking in an earlier class, how do you, there's a, there's a stone which is religious or something, so it's apparently the Blarney Stone, okay? All right, so let's get you guys to read this legend. Sergio, can I get you to read all the way, like, all this part, please? Yes. Okay, um... The Blarney Stone is a stone located in a wall of the Blarney Castle in the small village of Blarney in Ireland. People believe that the Blarney Stone has magical powers. According to the legend, an old woman made the stone magical in order to reward the king after he had saved her from drowning. The stone gave the king the ability to speak very beautifully. Perfect. Thank you, Sergio. Renee, can I get you to finish off the paragraph, please? So, the rest of this part. Right. When did he, he finish? Yeah. He, yeah. So, you can, can you read from people all the way to finish, all the way till the end? All right. People believe that anyone who kisses the Blarney Stone will receive the gift of the gap, a special ability to talk quickly and convincingly. It is not easy to reach the Blarney Stone. You have to climb many stairs in the castle and then lie on your back, bend downwards, and hold on and hold on to iron bar for support. Okay, perfect. So this is the legend of the Blarney Stone. Okay. So who can tell me what is what does the stone give you the ability to do? What power do you have to? What power do you get after you kiss the stone? To to conversation. To have a conversation. Yes. To have. You, a, yeah, go ahead, Lalo. If you kiss a stone, you can speak fluent. Yeah, um, exactly. Convincingly. Convincing. Yeah. Okay. Convince. What does it mean to convince someone? When you persuade other people to um, get something or to they make something that yeah. you want to make. Exactly. So convince 
is like when you when you believe something. Oh, I am convinced that this is bad for me. Okay, I know that this is bad for me. When you are sure of something, you are convinced. So when you speak to someone convincingly, that means that what you are saying, the other person will believe it because you sound like you believe it as well. All right. So the ability. Mm -hmm. So it is the ability to speak eloquently, eloquently. Okay, eloquently is a is a very sought after skill. So when you speak eloquently, you speak very classically. You're very proper. You have very good vocabulary. And when you you're speak, very confident on yourself. you're very exactly. You're very confident in yourself. So this stone gives you the ability to speak confidently, eloquently, and convincingly. Gab. Gab is an Irish slang word. What do you think gab means? It's an Irish word of slang. What does it mean? Speak empathy. To talk. Okay. Talk. Uh, talk empathy. Uh, talk. Sorry, can I have a question? Yeah. Uh, is it uh, stone only for English language or for other <laughs> language too? Um, uh, I don't know. I guess you're going to have to go to the castle and lie down on the stairs yes. and the railing, and then yes. you come back and tell me if you can speak yes. better in Russian or just English. <laughs> and uh, do you know any stone? Give you us the power. English. <laughs> Sorry, any stone that helps you in English. I unfortunately don't. Sad. <laughs> Give so us the power. Yeah. So. Um, so exactly, so this is a Blarney stone. So this is a legend, okay? I mean, I personally don't think that kissing the stone gives you the ability to do something extraordinary, but this is a legend. This is what Irish believe, okay? And there's people believe that anyone who kisses the stone will receive the gift of the gab, the ability to talk, a special ability to talk sweetly and convincingly. It is not easy to reach. You have to climb many stairs in the castle and then lie on your back, bend downwards, and hold onto iron bars as for support. I would not do this in order to speak fluently. <laughs> what does it mean lie on your back? What does it mean lie on your back? Oh, so lie on your back is this part, your this side of your body is touching the surface. So you're lying down like this. Okay. So you lie on your so back. You can try to find to Google some photos with uh, Barney Stone. It's very funny, really. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. Blarney. Blarney Stone. So let's I learned, and, uh, very I learned about this song. Go ahead. I learned go ahead about it. it. Yeah, you heard I about it. I learned about it from yeah from uh, the TV show that named uh, Simpson. If you heard about it. Simpsons. Yeah, the Simpsons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It is, it is Snooty, uh, a character named Bart make fun of this of this tradition. Was very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Blarney Stone. According to the legend, whoever kisses the Blarney Stone is gifted with eloquence and persuasiveness. Now you guys know what eloquence and persuasiveness mean. So if you ever visit Ireland, you'll be like, ooh, I am a sir. I can speak like a sir now. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so now you guys know what you need to do to achieve fluency. Okay? So this is a legend. This is what is, you know, passed on from generation to generation. Um, by you know families and traditions. Okay. If in fact um, uh, we need to use a verb link to to talk. To reach fluency. That's right. This yes. ain't no this ain't no stone. <laughs> and how it is your concurrent. But uh, the, we have a uh, verb link stone. Verb link stone. Yeah. Hamid, what are you, what are you <laughs> saying? And Hina, what do you think for a philosopher stone? Philosopher stone. Isn't that that's a little different, right? I mean, I mean that, that has different abilities. It's not the same as being eloquent. But, but there's lots of stones. I know even in, um, even in Islam, there's a holy stone, which is, I believe, in Saudi Arabia. So every yes, religion... In yeah. Kabe, in Kabe. Yeah, exactly. So every religion, every culture, they have you know these special symbols that help them unite their country or help them unite their religion. Okay? So I'm no one to say that this is right and this is wrong, but it's, uh, every, every country is different. Okay, so let's. Uh, any questions about the Blarney Stone? We can read the next legend about. Ooh. Okay, who can say this word for me? Say this word for me. <laughs> say it. Lepensius. No, somebody else say it. 
leprechauns. Ah, yes, leprechauns. Okay. Ah. Le leprechauns. The sea. The, the, the little man. Yeah. The leprechaun, the CH becomes a K. So in essence, you're saying leprechauns. This is how you say it. Okay, leprechauns. So the CH has a K sound. And that's an that's the way you say it in I in Irish, okay? In, in English, the CH does not make a K sound. Oh, chemistry. Well that's similar. In, in chemistry is basically not really like chemistry is not really English. So leprechauns. What are leprechauns, guys? They love gold. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This, sorry, what? What, Victor? Leprechauns, not chons. Leprechauns. <laughs> leprechauns. Okay, uh, Victor, what are what are you saying? No, go ahead. Okay, so a leprechaun is an Irish fairy. Okay, has anybody heard the legend that if you find the end of a rainbow, what is at the end of a rainbow? The end of a rainbow. Gold. Rain Gold. gold. Exactly. A there's lot a, of gold. Money, money, money. There's a pot of gold. There's no money. There's a pot yeah. of gold. So like a yeah. huge box or like a huge pan and it's full of gold. Why can you not get to that pot of gold? It's a legend. Nothing. Really it's a legend. Because you but can't, it, because yeah? you can't uh, stay in this place. You can't... Um, At the end uh, of a rainbow? A rainbow is always before you. Okay, that's a good point. The legend is that at the end of a rainbow, there's a pot of gold, and a leprechaun, a leprechaun is protecting that pot of gold. Okay, so the reason you cannot get to the end of a rainbow ever is because the leprechaun protects that pot of gold, and he doesn't want you to get to it. Okay, this oh, is a nice legend. Man. Sorry. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's cool again. It's it's yeah, it's cooler than oh, there's nothing at the end of a rainbow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the, and they plan they plan to kill you. Yeah. I, so this is a leprechaun. This this is what he looks like. He's a very tiny person. Uh, he looks like a human, but he's an elf. He's really short. And at the end of a rainbow, you have a pot of gold, and the leprechaun protects that pot of gold. I I yeah. heard the other another land. Another legend, legend. L legend. Uh, if you save his life, uh, yes. you receive your wish. Yes. So a leprechaun is kind of like a genie. Okay. So yeah. if you if you save a leprechaun, that's the that, that I've heard that as well. If you save a leprechaun, he grant you one wish, so you can ask him for anything because he is indebted to you. He owes you his life. So in return. He will grant you one wish. He will give you one thing that you want. Okay? Leprechauns are sometimes scary as well. Norbert is saying Gina, goblin. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, leprechaun is like hobbit or is different? Okay, a hobbit? A <clears throat> hobbit is like... A hobbit doesn't have magical powers. Okay? A leprechaun is said to have magical powers. A hobbit is... A human being in legend. In legend, a hobbit is a human being who is very tiny. So also an elf. Okay. Okay. In, okay. A, a leprechaun is technically an elf, so he is even shorter than a hobbit. So he's very very tiny. He's like the size of Cupid. You know what Cupid is, right? Cupid is small. So a leprechaun is like the size of Cupid, and uh, he has magical powers. So he can fly. He can disappear. He can teleport from one place to another. So a leprechaun is a mythical, mythical creature. Okay? He, he speak, has speaking English? Yeah. <laughs> and he speaks he speaks Irish English. <laughs> Irish <Yeah>. English. <laughs> that I get it. That I get it, thank you. And okay. I can ask for improve my English to leprechaun. You can ask him to yes. take you to the Blarney Stone and like you can ask him to like be fluent in every language. You can ask him for anything. You can even technically you can ask the leprechaun for the pot of gold as well and he would have to give it to you. Guys, we we must uh, coach yes. one Actually, leprechaun. Oh, leprechaun Ling. Leprechaun Ling. <laughs> you have yeah. to catch the rainbow. That's what you yes. need to do. You need the end of the rainbow 
because that is where the pot of gold is and the pot of gold is where the leprechaun lives so you need to find the end of a rainbow okay yeah okay so let's read let's let's, yeah. let's work. <laughs> Did you so know what does yeah. leprechaun means? I mean, uh, where does the word come from? Um, I, I actually don't know. Let's read the paragraph. It might say in the paragraph where the word comes from. I personally right. don't know. Who read last? Who was the last person to read? Lalo, were Me? you the last person to read? Yes. Okay, so you've yes. already read. Okay. According to legend, leprechauns are little iris fires who look like old men. They are only about two feet tall and they dress like shoemakers. They are not very friendly. <clears throat> Sorry. They live alone and spend their time making shoes. They are very special because they possess a hidden pot possess, of gold. Possess a hidden pot. Possess a hidden pot. They possess a hidden pot of gold. You can try to find a leprechaun, be listening for the sound of his hammer when he is making shoes. If you find one, you can try to force him to tell you where he has hidden his gold. Hidden his gold. Hidden his gold. Hidden his gold. Perfect. Thank you. So this is, I, I, I unfortunately don't know where the word leprechaun comes from. I am assuming it means something in Irish folklore. So folklore is uh, native stories and language to a country. So I'm assuming that in Irish folklore, a leprechaun means something. I don't know what it means in regular English. Yes, the, the word, so I, I look at uh, Google. It yeah. says leprechaun. What is it? Uh, shoemaker, exactly. Shoemaker, exactly. So leprechauns, they have a day job. <laughs> Who knows what a day job is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they actually do something with their time. They don't just spend time uh, uh, guarding the pot of gold. They actually make shoes, okay? They look like old men. So all the pictures that we saw, they have a beard and they have like a cane. Do we know what a cane is? Let me show you pictures again, okay? So this is a leprechaun, okay? This stick that people use for walking, this stick is called a cane, okay? So they're like old men. Look, they smoke pipes, they have beards, they use canes to walk. So they look like old men, okay? They look like old men. Um, and they guard the pot of gold. And if you can find the pot of, you can find the leprechaun. You can be like, "Tell me where the pot of gold is now." Okay, this is a legend. I don't want you guys going to Ireland looking for a leprechaun and a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Okay, you're like, my English teacher told me to do this. Okay, this is all a legend. <laughs> okay, I don't want you blaming me or verbaling for like, there's no pot of gold at the end of a rainbow, man. <laughs> okay. That's so scary. It's all, it's all hers. She made me do it. Okay, so any questions about this paragraph before we move on? The last activity uh, are, uh, are idioms. Okay? Um, yeah, go ahead, Norbert. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, yeah. Norbert. <laughs> Possess. 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 To have. Possess. To have. To have. To have. The ability. Okay. To have an ability is to possess the ability to do something. Okay? I possess the ability to fly. Okay, for example, Superman has the, ha, possesses the ability to, to fly. Okay. Possess is to, to have. Okay? Right. And, anything else? So if you listen for the sound of his hammer when he's making shoes, you can you know, find him. Yeah, go ahead, Lalo. If you try to write possess in third person, for example, she possesses? Yeah, or, she possesses. So P-O-S-S-E-S-S. -S -E -S -S, okay? So, okay, okay, let's see. Okay, so I possess. Okay, this is I possess. P-O-S-S-E-S-S. -S 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 -S. She, P-O-S-S-E-S-S-E-S. -S -S -E -S -S. So you Thank have you. to put an E-S at the end. She possesses, he possesses, he possesses. What about they? They, what would you put they as? They possess. Perfect, they possess. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. You're welcome, possesses. Perfect. Okay, if there's no other questions about this paragraph, let's move on to our last activity, idioms. Everybody loves idioms. Perfect. So we are on page seven, the very last page of the document. Uh, vocabulary, idioms, and expressions. Hamid, can I get you to read the first idiom and its definition, please? Okay. To be green with envy. To be very jealous of what somebody else, uh, else has. 
Exactly. So it's very, very, very straightforward. So, oh, I am green with envy at her beautiful shoes. Okay. So I am so jealous of her beautiful shoes. I wish, I wish I had them. Very, very straightforward idiom. All right. To be green with envy. Uh, usually, when you are envious, do you turn green? Like yeah. what color? No. You usually turn red, right? No. Same yes. as yeah, same as anger. But the idiom, it comes from Ireland. So I, as we learned, green is the national color of Ireland. So they tend to make their idioms and everything about their culture related to green color. Okay? And isn't the jealous uh, color is the yellow? Yeah, jealous color is usually yellow. Like you become pale. Okay? Your skin becomes pale. So you lose colors. Like, oh, I'm so jealous of you. Okay? So it's usually either red or yellow depending on... The extremity of your jealousness. Jealousness is not a word. Okay, uh, let's go. Is that's I, I assume everybody's okay with that one. It's a pretty straightforward idiom. Uh, next, we have Imad. Can I get you to do the second one? Yeah, to get or give the green light. To give or uh, to get or give permission to start something. Okay, so when you get so green light, everybody knows. I mean, for all those who drive. Red light means stop, yellow light means get ready to drive, and green light means go. So basically to give the green light. Who usually gives the green light? Okay. Who usually gives the green light? Policemen. Sorry, Lala? Policemen. Policemen? Um we're not no. talking we're not talking about street lights. I'm just saying that like this idiom comes from green light means go. Okay. Um, People who is in charge or have the authority to say yes or no. Exactly. So your boss. My boss gave me the green light to start that project. Okay. My boss gave me the green light to start construction on this building. Okay. My wife gave me the green light to hang out with my friends today. <laughs> if it's uh, Saint Patrick Day, to drink with my friends. Sorry. Uh, okay. She can't yeah. believe it. Can, uh, Renee, what did you say? So <laughs> she. She gave, gave me you the permission. Like, honey, please, can I hang out with my friends? Please. <laughs> Fine. I promise. Go oh, out, wow. but just for two hours. <gasps> she said yes. She gave me the green light. I'm coming to the bar. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is what happens when you get married, okay? This is what happens when you get married. <laughs> Tina, we yes. must consult your, uh, your boyfriend. <laughs> see, see how he's never around? I'm only always teaching classes. He's like, oh, I go to work. I must not come back. <laughs> so, uh, just an example. So, green light is when you have the go-ahead to do something, okay? Um... Let's read the next one. Yuri, can I get you can I get you to be can I get you to read number three? Yes, to be green, to have no experience. Yeah, so somebody yeah, somebody who recently graduates from from school or university, they have no experience, so they're green. So you say, Oh, this candidate is good, but he is very green. Okay, so he has no experience, he's not good for this position. Uh now I have a question. Yeah. Uh, some expression, it's not mentioned right now, but I just want to ask about it. Yeah. If I say someone has a self-esteem, what's the meaning of the self-esteem? Someone, the, the, oh, someone yeah. has substance, substance. No, self-esteem. Self-esteem, someone has self-esteem, self-esteem, right? Yeah, I'm no, writing so. it, self-esteem, okay? Self-esteem, what does self-esteem mean, guys? Okay. Um... So, someone who is not confident itself. Someone who when is you proud. Some, not proud. Self-esteem is when you have confidence in yourself and your ability. Pride is a negative thing mostly. Pride is like, yeah, that's right. I'm beautiful and I'm rich and you all are just horrible people. That's pride. Self-esteem is I am a good person. I have a good self-image. I do good for people. I, I have a worth for myself. Okay? Be sure. I, <laughs> I don't I don't see myself as <laughs> I'm useless and worthless and nobody wants me. <laughs> this is when you have no self esteem. You do not have any yeah, you have no value. Yeah, no no value. 
Exactly. Now I attend your class. Your your classes are empty and every time. <laughs> so no value for yourself is when you have no self esteem. Okay. But when you have self esteem, you're like I'm a confident person. I don't need anybody to tell me that I'm good looking or that I make a lot of money. I am happy with my life, and I don't need to cry to other people about my shortcomings. So I don't cry about what I don't have in life and ask people for pity. I don't go like, oh look, I don't have this. Feel bad for me, okay? That's when you have no self-esteem, okay? So having self-esteem is a good thing, all right? So have self-esteem to be confident and happy about who you are, okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's. We have time to cover one more idiom. So let's get Yasin. 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 Wow. Two first names. Okay. Um, I think you're muted. So Victor, I will get you to read number four, please. Victor, you're muted, and we don't have time. So Sergio, can I get you to read number four? Uh, yes, number four, to have yeah. a green thumb, to be a good gardener, gardener or have yes. a natural ability with plants and flowers. Yeah, perfect. So this is pretty straightforward. So when you're a gardener, somebody who knows how to take care of plants and gardens, that's basically what a garden is. Yeah, go ahead. Is this, is this in idioms uh, exist in the... United States or just in Ireland? Um, honestly, I've never heard it. Um, but that's also because I don't know any gardeners. Maybe that's why. I mean, I don't know anybody who's a gardener, no. and, and I don't have a gardener in my house, so I don't know. But no, but I'm it's all of all of them. So all of them. Oh, okay. Um, to be green with envy, we use it here. To give the green light, we use in North America. To be green, we don't use here. To have a green thumb, we don't. I don't think we use that here as well. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. We use this a lot in North America. Yeah. The luck, the luck of the Irish, we use that too. The gift of the gab, we don't. So number three, four, and seven are not that widely used in North America, in the U.S. or in Canada. Okay, so that is actually the end of our class. I hope you guys took away oh, wow. what an awesome holiday. It's a cool subject. It's a cool subject. I'm, I'm happy you guys liked it. So and uh, Tina. Yes. I found new uh, idiom, green finger. Green finger? Okay, you can post that. Oh, green finger for me? Okay, thank you. Um, I'm actually going to post my Facebook page here because I don't know if you guys know this, but I do a, a weekly song challenge. So this week's song challenge is up. So you guys can listen to a song and try to fill in the missing words. There's a, there's a document attached with it, all right? So I'm out. My classes for next week have been set. So you guys can have a look at them. I have, I have scheduled all the classes. I'll be back on Monday. It was so much fun talking to you guys. If you celebrate St. Patrick's Day, have fun. I will see everybody on Monday, okay? Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.